What's up everybody, it's your girl Adesia and I want to welcome you back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how I did a full set using acrylic on a mannequin hand that I got from Sally Beauty. Now, one tip about this, this type of mannequin hand is you will have to create your own nail bed. Um, I used acrylic. As you can see here, I'm currently filing down the acrylic that I applied to the fingers. And this pretty much created a nail bed for me so that I could be able to add nail tips. So right now I'm just filing it down, trying to get it as even as possible. And then I will go ahead and apply my nail tips. This hand worked pretty well. Uh, I definitely will be getting a better one, the one that has the removable nails. But for now, this did serve its purpose. Um, there will be a second video with me using this same application and I will be freestyling using uh, jewels. You can see the jewels off to the side there. And I'll be doing kind of a, a Christmassy, white, sparkly, jeweled out coffin nail look. But this is just part one. It'll be me applying acrylic, uh, shaping it, and things of that nature. So just uh, keep watching and you will see this masterpiece unfold. Okay, so right now I am currently blending in the nail tip, the smile line of the nail tip into the nail bed so that it's a lot more flush. And so when I apply acrylic, it is a lot more natural. So you definitely wanna do this so you don't have any hard lines in your acrylic application. And then you just file down into the, the nail, the false nail, just so you can take away that shine and just repeat the step. Alright, now I am going to start filing the shape into my the false nail. Um, I do this before applying acrylic because it makes shaping the nails after acrylic has been applied a lot easier. 
so I'm not just filing for days. So I've uh, learned that if you file the, the false tip while there's no acrylic, it's a lot easier to get your shape. And then after you apply the acrylic, all you have to do is just kind of perfect it. So I do most of the shaping at this step. So, you know, yes, by all means, you could always shape it after you apply the acrylic. But if you want to make your life a lot easier and uh, filing a lot easier, I highly suggest you not skip this step. All right, now it's time for the fun part, acrylic application. I'm gonna grab my uh, brush, and I'm gonna grab my dapping dish and fill it up with some monomer, also known as acrylic liquid. Um, you wanna go ahead and get all those bubbles out of your brush so that you know that your brush is fully soaked with the uh, liquid. Then you're just gonna slightly get a little bit of liquid out of your brush, tap the tip right into the acrylic and just apply it and just start molding it down the nail. You wanna be sure to keep the acrylic off the sides of the nail and just keep patting it down until you are, you know, you're set with how it's shaped. And then you go ahead and grab yourself another ball of acrylic. You can repeat this step as many times as you want. There is no certain many, you know, certain amount of times that you have to do to get the perfect acrylic application on a nail. You just want to be sure that your apex is uh, has most of the bolt so that it protects the nail from cracking at the smile line. Um, you definitely want to have most of your strength there, especially when you have long, longer nails like how the mannequin hair has here. So then after you feel like your apex is pretty good, you move on up towards the cuticle line. Bring that all down. So as you can see, I'm just slowly working my way up towards the cuticle line. Being sure to clean my brush after every application. Grab a little bit more, go right at the cuticle line. Making sure not to allow it to overflow into the cuticle line. And as you can see, I'm just molding it down, flowing it down until I am happy and satisfied with how it looks. Now I'm gonna grab a ball add it to the free edge just to make that a little stronger because nails can snap off if it's not strong. Trust me, I've learned my lesson and just go ahead and mold that down. Be sure to tap the edge. 
you want to be sure to look at your nail as you're applying it. And once you're comfortable, you just move on and repeat those steps.
So right now I'm gonna allow the acrylic to dry a little bit before I started the pinky. Um, the reason why I did that is because um, sometimes the way that the mannequin hand is very stiff so it doesn't move very well with me. Um, but once I was able to allow it to dry, as you can see, I just went ahead and started back with the pinky. So the mannequin hand is not like a human hand. It, those fingers, you really gotta force them to separate and hold uh, one of them just so you can work the acrylic on. And I was really trying my best not to put any uh, dents into the nail that I just did. So that's why you saw me say, uh, I'm just gonna wait for a second. All right, so I have just finished up the mannequin hand applying the acrylic, so I'm cleaning off all that acrylic out of my brush. You want to be sure to do this or else you end up damaging your brush and you won't be able to use it very well. So you want to use up all the, you know, the last bit of monomer that you have in your dabbing dish, mold out your brush, and if you have any kind of plastic container you store it in, make sure to put that in there to help make your brush last longer. Put up all of your acrylic to, so it doesn't get contaminated with anything else, any other dust from filing or anything. Um, allow that acrylic to dry. And then now I'm gonna switch out my drill bit so that I can use my fine drill bit. It's one of my favorite drill bits for shaping my nails and pretty much getting them even and getting out the dips and uh, lumps and bumps that are on them. So right now I'm tapping the nails to check to see if they're ready and I'm just going to start filing. So this is the part where I was telling you how if you file the nail tips ahead of time before you apply the acrylic, as you can see they kind of held their shape pretty well. So your filing will be very minimal when it comes to shaping them into that perfect coffin that you want. So mine's is in between a coffin and a tapered square. I don't like to go super coffin. Um, that's just my preference, but um, it's all up to what your client wants. So right now I'm just shaping that and getting the shape the way I want it. And I'm pretty much going to do this until I am satisfied. So when you're filing the sides of your client's nail, especially when they have long nails, you want to put uh, support onto the nail. Don't just file it without your support. You can see I'm using my finger to hold it while I'm filing so I don't hurt my hurt the client. Yes, this is a mannequin hand, but if you do it on a mannequin hand, then you will form a habit. And when you do a client's hand, you will definitely add support to that free edge.
All right, now to use my electric drill bit um, drill machine uh, from a cart. I'm using a fine drill bit. And I'll leave any kind of tools that I use in this video in the description box below. Um, so I use this fine drill bit to pretty much, like I said, even out the nail and get it nice and smooth before I buff it all out. So, you know, yes, um, if you're not comfortable with using an electric drill bit or you do not have one, it's okay. You can use a hand file, but a hand file does take a little bit more time and a lot more patience. So that's why I went ahead and uh, invested in, in one of these. Uh, but it all depends on what level you are when it comes to doing nails. I highly suggest it. It, is, it was a great investment and it has sped my nail application up. And of course, you know, speed comes with time and practice. So there's that. Just make sure you be careful. And if you're not comfortable with using a drill bit, I highly suggest you get a safety uh, drill bit. As you can see, the end of my drill bit has a round like dome. And this pretty much protects my client from me being able, uh, pretty much cutting their cuticle area when I'm getting close like I am now. I'm just dusting off all the dust that came from uh, all of the filing going back and being a little meticulous with my shape anything that I noticed was a little off compared to all the other nails 
um, you'll see me go back and touch up a couple nails that I felt were a little bit of a troubled child, as you can see. Um, right now, this is just me being a perfectionist. I'm very meticulous, and when I see something that's a little off, I'm gonna keep trying to fix it. So I'm just checking out the hand now, seeing if I'm happy with the results. I was not, so of course I went back to smooth out that nail. So it's just, you, you know, you take your time, practice it until everything looks exactly the way you want. I'm just showing you here. I'm going to show you here in a second how it looks. So there it is. Those, that's how the nails came out. Um, the shape, I really liked it and I was happy with it. Um, so definitely worked out the way I wanted it to. So I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching this video and please don't forget to like the video, comment um, if you have any questions and also don't forget to subscribe um, for more videos like this. Um, part two of this video will be coming out probably next week so stay tuned and thanks again. Bye.